Hey, what's good, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Slightly Warped Podcast. I'm Rick. That's Big Show. How are you? I'm good, sir. How are you? Uh, <laughs> not too bad. Not too bad. Um, you guys that follow the program know we're talking Game of Thrones, and we throw in a little NFL. And every now and then, I like to flip it. So today, I'm going to start off with the National Football League. You know, we want to, you know, move that right along but all right not trying to brag show but my streak continues and uh here's where we stand we, we had good records last week and we got good records this week as well um it looks like you finished 11 and 3 and i finished 12 and 2 i was so gutted so gutted the uh noon games i was perfect on the noon games and then the seahawks decided hey we're gonna drive down the field and uh win this game in the three o'clock round and that that began my downfall um <laughs> and the Bengals, well they just shitted the bed you know um yeah our one where we differed was the tiebreaker. Jets, Colts, and, and I knew the Jets were going to be the Jets. Don't ask me how I knew that. I just got lucky. We're just going to call it that. Yeah, wasn't um, it like a last second field goal that won or something like yes, that? Yes, it was. And they won by one point, right? Uh, Yeah. Was it 19 to 20 or something like that? Yeah. But uh, not bad, not bad at all. Uh, what game stood out most to you? Mm, probably that Bengals Chargers game. Really? Uh, That's the yeah, least likely one I thought you would pick. Well, just because it was pretty competitive, and just to see how the Bengals just keep pooping the bed. I mean, the Steelers-Ravens, it was kind of a boring game. Uh, but, yeah, I think that Bengals-Chargers game was, prop for me, uh, the most entertaining for the week. Yeah, that Steelers game was very entertaining. Um, I, I did like the uh, Lions-Jaguars for the opposite reason. You knew they were going to stomp a mud hole in them. It was like watching a slasher movie because they were just getting gutted. I think at one point, the Lions uh, scored one way or another on their first seven possessions. Yeah. And all you could do was laugh. Uh, I thought that that would spell the end for their head coach, but he's still hanging on in there. Doug Peterson. Yeah, they'll probably fire him at the end of the year. Yeah, it's one of those cases where there isn't anybody any better right now, so you got to go with it. Um, this is true. Falcons Broncos was unexpected for me. I, we both picked the Broncos, but I didn't think it was going to be that convincing. Yeah the the outcome the the way the game played out was surprising, but not. To me, the way the Broncos played us the week before, the Falcons had no shot. That's true. Uh, I think the Falcons have been exposed for who they really are. And, and, and that leads me to my next question. Three teams in the AFC that aren't Kansas City and then three teams in the NFC, who do you think is rising to the occasion as we head toward the playoff run? Uh, AFC wise, uh, number one's got to be the Steelers. Uh, you know they're they're showing some moxie with uh, Russ. Um, I like the way the Chargers are playing. I like the Broncos. Those would be my three out of the AFC. Besides your standard, you know, Buffalo, uh, Baltimore. You know, those guys are going to be in the mix. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Uh, NFC-wise, mm -hmm. 
I mean, they're NFC is just so weak. I mean, do you give Eagles the credit because they beat the? I mean, no. Packers have owned the Bears. You know, Lions obviously don't have any competition. I guess the Rams are playing a little bit better, but are they like blowing your doors off? No. Uh, the Vikings are hit and miss. Uh, Seahawks are playing okay, but like, do you have any faith in them? The only team I really have faith in the NFC would be the Lions, maybe the Eagles, maybe the Commanders. All right. In the AFC, I agree with you 100%. Maybe, just maybe. I, if the Broncos don't get in the mix, the other uh, AFC West team would be the uh, Chargers in that. I can't see anybody else. Um, Definitely Eagles, Lions. You, you're going to see uh, maybe the Vikings continue to make that push. Um, I, I really think that the 49ers are on a downhill slide and the Cardinals are on the uphill slide. And when it's all said and done, you heard it I here I forgot first. about the cards because they didn't play last week. I forgot about them. Yeah, throw them in the mix. I honestly don't believe the 49ers will even be second in that division. I bet you anything the Rams are going to sneak up on them. Yeah. Um, however, both – I think the Rams and the Cardinals will come back to earth. Yeah. 49ers are too good of a team not to rise to the occasion. Uh, but I mean they they could just have that Super Bowl hangover. Mm. Yeah. That that is a that is a real thing, folks. Um, uh, before we go to picks though, I do want to ask you. Were you rooting for the Chiefs to go undefeated, or do you think the loss helps them? No, any any true Chiefs fan that was telling you that was rooting for him to be undefeated is fucking lying. I mean, it's only happened twice ever, and only once complete, right? Right. You know, we're you know in two thousand seven when the Patriots went undefeated before the Super Bowl, they were blowing people out off the field. I mean, they had that was the record breaking year. Randy Moss and 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 Tom Brady the Chiefs aren't playing that way. And the Chiefs have played... Don't get me wrong, I'm not going to apologize for any victories that they had. But let's let's be honest, they've shown some chinks in the armor all nine wins. You know, yeah. they're not... You know, so it, when you get up a good team that had, you know, uh, a chip on the shoulder get a little get back and you're playing on their turf, you know, I, so I picked them to lose. Um, and, you know, and it played out just about the same way I thought it would play out. Nothing Fair about enough. that game surprised me. Fair enough. We did pick the bills. Uh, Do I think it was a good loss? I mean, is there ever a good loss? I mean, but you lost, so you move on. It's not the end of the season. There, there are was good things win. that you can take out of a loss, which is where I'm right, going but is, with it. But is there a good loss? No. No. no a loss is a loss. Was. Yeah. And all you did was went from 72% chance of having the first round or the first round by, you know, getting the number one seed. With the loss to Buffalo, you're down to a 51% chance. I mean – so you lost 20% chance of getting that first round by because you're now only one game ahead of Buffalo and they own the tiebreaker. Yeah. Um, it actually, to me, hurts Buffalo more, regardless of who has the home field. Because in my mind, Kansas City has seen everything that Buffalo is going to throw at them. And Spags knows what to expect this time around. Yeah, I mean... Maybe, maybe not. I'm not going to necessarily jump on that bandwagon. I mean, the difference the difference in all those games in the playoff games wasn't coaching. It was 
Patrick. That's that's basically the difference. He outwilled the other team. Andy Reid has not outcoached Sean McDermott in any of the playoff victories. Any of them. Patrick Mahomes outplayed the Bills defense. True. Very true. So I don't think I think it I think it actually helps Buffalo in in uh you know it gives them confidence for sure. Well, no, no, I, I'm not saying that. It it helps them with the road to getting home field advantage. Okay. It helps True. them in that aspect. But as for confidence, nah. They've already they they've already seen the script. They beat us in the regular season. They know they're gonna see us again. That's the game they're gonna be scared of. They yeah. they they had a no win, no lose situation in this game. I, I think both teams did really. Because both teams know they're I gonna think it, I think it true, but I think with Buffalo, it's it's that it's kind of like when the Chiefs play Cincinnati and Joe Burrow. It's that's where the 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 roles kind of reverse, where the Chiefs are like, man, are we gonna beat these guys? You know, where Buffalo, you know, when we play Buffalo, it's like, oh, psh, we we got these dudes, you know, we're gonna get them. Fair enough. Let's go to the picks, and uh, we're going to see where we are here. This is going to be interesting. Thursday night, let me grab my pen because I want to make sure that I, you know, get this right. Ain't going to be a very interesting Thursday night. No, no, not, not Thursday. I mean the slate altogether. Thursday oh, is uh, gotcha. the Steelers at the Browns. You know I'm going with the Steelers. Yeah, same. Um, Then Sunday... The Vikings at the Bears. I'm going to go with the Vikings. I just realized the Vikings were eight and two. I thought they lost more than that. Uh-uh. Sam uh, Darnold is playing very unlike Sam Darnold. Right, but that was a you know the first they're winning, but their last three or four victories have been kind of trash. Kind of like how the Chiefs have been winning. They had not impressive, but True. no need to apologize for that. Um, yeah. Uh, Vikings. All right. Detroit at the Colts. Lions. Detroit. Yeah, Detroit all day. Patriots at the Dolphins. I'm going to go gonna with the Dolphins. That's going to be a tough one. That's going to be a tough one. Um, yeah, yeah, Dolphins are playing pretty good. I'm going to go with the Dolphins as well because they're at home. That's the reason why I'm picking the Dolphins too. Uh, Tampa Bay is at the Giants. I'm going to go with Tampa. Yeah, the Giants just benched uh, Danny Dimes. Yeah, and I was going to say is because Tampa's had a bye week, but so did the Giants, so never mind. Yeah, yeah, Tampa. Tampa will squeak out a victory there. All right. The Cowboys are at the Commanders. and Washington. Agreed. Chiefs at the Panthers. Jeez. Yeah, the Panthers are going to shock everybody and score one time on their way to losing. It's the Chiefs. Titans at the Texans. Uh, I'm going to say the Texans. So don't let the records fool you. Uh, Titans are better than that two and eight record. Um Is this this my upset game of the week? Mm. Nah, Houston. <laughs> All right, so far we are uh, on point. The three o'clock games. Ugh, I hate doing this one. Broncos at the Raiders. I'm going with the Broncos. Yeah, they're 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 playing pretty good. I'll I'll go with Denver as well. Uh 49ers are at the Packers. Ooh, now it gets tough. Um I want to say 49ers in my head, but after the egg they laid again, well, not the egg they laid, but just blowing it against Seattle. 
and it's at Lambeau. Mm. And and Green Bay remembers what happened to them last year. I, I I'm gonna go with the Packers. I'm gonna go with the Packers. Mm, 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 mm. Wait, I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna go with the 49ers. And and the reason being the Packers did beat the Bears, but they just barely beat the Bears. True, but that's a that's a division game. It it is, but so they know each other. It's just something about this game. I, I think I'm gonna go with the 49ers. I think the 49ers are gonna have a get right game. I agree. San Francisco is going to have a get right game, but it won't be this one. I'm going with Green Bay. Oh, okay. Okay. This is our first different one. Uh, the Cardinals at the Seahawks. I'm going to go with Arizona. Mm. I'm going to go Seattle. Oh, that's two in a row. We're different. The night game. The Eagles are at the Rams. I'm going to go with Philly. I'm also going to go with Philly. All right, and that brings us to Monday night. The Ravens this are at the Chargers. Yes. This is going to be a good game. <clears throat> Man. This is going to be a good game. Do you know if Khalil Mack is playing Sunday, I mean Monday or not? Because he didn't play against the Bengals. No, nah, be, it's too early to know that. Okay. Um, if, he, if he practices tomorrow on, then most likely that's that's how you'll know. I am going to. I don't think they need him. Um, just you know, to make this a good game. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the Ravens. I'm gonna go with the Ravens. Ravens lost to the Steelers last week, right? Yes, they did. I need the Ravens to beat the Chargers. Just so they drop down another game behind us in the division. But then Denver would be there because that put them tied. But I don't need the Ravens getting any closer either. Hmm, interesting. How do I choose this one? <laughs> what a dilemma you have. You said Baltimore, right? Yes, I did. We're going to go with L.A. Okay. So we have three different games, which means that there's there, there's no tie. There's no possible way of a tie, no matter what. So we're, we're going to see this. You got green. There's Bay, only one Bay, way that there could be a tie. There's one way. Oh, you're that, right. There's one way. But that, that one of these was, three would all... have to be a tie. And we would win all the other games that we chose together. Yes. Yes. So there is one way. There is one. Highly way. unlikely. Highly very, improbable. Very. So but you guys, they also uh, thought that the Denver Broncos were going to make that field goal. So things can't happen. <laughs> that is true. Very true. Um, before I get to Game of Thrones, since you brought up the Denver field goal, had the field goal not been blocked the week before last, do you think Kansas City would have lost to Buffalo? Yes. Okay. Okay. I, I I have no skin in the game as far as being the Chiefs fan or anything like that. I, I'm just curious, some, you know, from a Chiefs fan uh, perspective on how you feel about that. And 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 the only reason why I say that is because. Buffalo, when we play Buffalo in the regular season, mm -hmm. all the pressure's on Buffalo. Because we, as a fan base, don't really care, especially like this game. Like, we're undefeated, okay? So we're due a loss. We haven't lost in a whole year, babe. 300, game, 300 days, I think it was. But, you know, in the, in the postseason – the pressure doubles on ball, on Buffalo because there is no tomorrow. We're used to there is no tomorrow. 
you know, that's that's how our season's been since uh, Patrick been in the league. You know, so we're used to those tough games. Buffalo until they get over the hump. That's just how they're going to be. Very true. Now, I before agree. we go into Game of Thrones, mm -hmm. we have to talk about the Tyson Paul fight. Just you for mean a second. the Netflix buffering issue? Man, that's a whole nother point. <laughs> go right ahead, sir. Talk to me about this Tyson Paul fight that wasn't really a fight. That the the two middle fights were the best fights of the night. That that whole Tyson Paul thing was a farce, and it's really sad that that they duped the whole country, the whole world, in that in the in that fight. I mean, the fact that you couldn't see it like you're supposed to, but that something to me tells me there was a. I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go into conspiracy theory and say that this was a fixed fight or. Um, there was a script you know, that you see, but mm -hmm. if you look at the videos of him training a few weeks before the fight, Tyson, I'm talking about, yeah. and then the way that he fought in the ring, it was like two different people. And so it was very disappointing. I hope Tyson never gets in the ring again. Uh, I'm praising the Lord that it wasn't necessarily pay-per-view pay-per-view because I would have really know, been pissed. Oh, yeah. How many people would have been like $75 or whatever the price would be for a, a pay-per-view fight? Oh, yeah. And, you should get pissed because they knock him out in the first round. Picks. I love but the this fact one is Netflix like, made their money still with new subscribers and all that. I get that. But if they didn't have the latency and the buffering issues uh, from that many people trying to stream, Get that figured out, they would be on to something really, really special here. And I can see it happening again uh, for future matches, whether it be boxing or any other sport. Well, uh, the Christmas games are supposed to be on Netflix. The NFL they, they Christmas are Netflix? Games. Okay, there's, I don't know why I was there's thinking two Amazon. Of them. There's two of them, and they're on Netflix. Chiefs are one of those games. I think That's Chiefs play, Steelers, uh, right? Yeah, Chiefs Steelers. Um, that's on Netflix. But also, I mean, the WWE moved to Netflix, so all their Raw, SmackDown, all their all their pay per view wrestling matches is all going to be on Netflix. So they're going to have to fix that streaming shit. I hope they do. I really do. But uh, yeah, uh, Iron Mike, you probably still whoop my ass, but don't get back in the ring. He got his twenty mil. He's good. Oh, yeah. And I don't understand why Jake Paul got 40. Why did why did he because, get so much more? Because he set it up. It's it, it, it was his promotion. OK, that that OK, that makes sense then. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure how how all that works, you know, because I, I can't get twenty dollars to fight nobody. But that's a whole different story. I'll pay you 20 bucks if you want to fight. Fuck! I'll double it. I give you forty. Yeah, that won't Let's cover go. my that won't cover my medical bills. Uh, so, <laughs> um, yeah. Speaking of fights, all right. Now we're gonna go to uh, Game of Thrones. Uh, as you guys know, we're doing our series on Game of Thrones, the final season, and today we're discussing uh, episode five, uh, the Bells. So this is the aftermath of Cersei's uh, action. We'll call it. Um, I, I forget the. What was she a handmaiden to the queen? Um, uh, Daenerys, uh, translator, uh, okay. right hand girl, no type of thing. Yeah. Um, Confidant. Yeah. So basically, it was on from there, and Daenerys decided she was just going to just like level the castle. And the city was in shambles. And um, I, I really like the part where um, Arya was trying to, uh, you know, help usher people out of the city, get them away. 
and you know she got knocked unconscious it it was very realistic it wasn't like you see the hero in movies dodge bullets amazingly and stuff like that no and when she came to she was you know covered in ash and rubble and stuff like that and you, you just saw what was happening to people and I took mostly that away with me from, from watching it. You know, I forgot Jamie, if I remember, he was trying to get into the castle to, to get to Cersei. Am I not correct? Yeah. He's trying to save her. Yeah. Cause, but then, was, uh, what dude, the, the, the ironborn dude, the uncle decided to caught him off him. and they decided while well, they were fighting, you know, yeah. decided to sword fight. And he killed, uh, Jamie killed him, but um, had a mortal wound before, you know, basically he, he would have died from that wound if he wouldn't have died the way he died. That's true. Um, it was interesting the way Jamie and Cersei went out, especially Cersei. I, I compare it completely different show. Have you ever watched The Shield? No. Okay. Uh, just a brief rundown. Vic Mackey is a, a L.A. cop, but he's very dirty. And he always finds a way out of whatever situation before he gets caught until you got to that last episode. Now, Vic did get killed. He went and filed immunity and started ratting out all his partners. But he thought just once he thought he was good, they leveled him with all kind of other things. So they couldn't put him in jail, but he was in a dead end job in a basement somewhere doing things that he didn't want to do. He was no longer able to see his wife and kids. They moved, got moved out of the city, et cetera, et cetera. He was just a very sad old man at the end. So that's how he got his in the end. And seeing Cersei finally get hers poetic justice but did she did she get hers well yeah she got hers i think i think she died the easy way out i mean the 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 castle crumbled on her big whoop she should have been tortured and all sorts of shit from she should have been roasted by that dragon with all the shit she's done over the years and played the game um but like the beginning of this episode, I really liked it until Daenerys decided to go ahead and just, you know, I understand her first attacking, taking out the scorpions and the outside of the, of the uh, realm, you know, and then the bells rang. And that was the thing that when the bells rang, that means they're quitting. The castle's yours. And the bells were ringing, and she's looking around, watching people scream, doing the whole thing. And then she just decides, fuck it, I'm killing them all. And her and Drogon jumped in the air and did their thing. You know, that's to me, that's where the, the episode just went. Because Daenerys was such a formidable, uh, uh, likable, um, rootable, rootable mm -hmm character as a fan that when that happened you were just kind of like this is out of her character she's never done anything like this yeah she to went people, way too far to, to the innocent line. to innocent people that was her whole thing she the breaker she, of chains her, yeah she protected the innocent and you know um so i didn't like that but you know i think you know that this is where the season, you know, they start just tidying and everything up just so they can close it out. Yeah. Um, th things I did like, like I said, I liked the Aria situation. Um, I liked, uh, I liked when John and Grey Worm were, you know, fighting the Golden Army, and the Golden Army kind of, you know, uh, basically said they surrender, and John was getting ready to let him surrender, but then Grey Worm and the Unsullied decided to go ahead and take them all out. Yeah, okay, I remember that. Um, you know, and that that puts uh, Grey Worm and John at an odds. Uh, but Grey Worm was pissed because he killed his girl. 
Um, I really enjoyed the the Clegane, the mountain and the hound fight, the way they died. That was pretty That's cool. That's right. That's right. It's the, on the steps. On that the was steps, pretty neat. Yeah. yeah. That's so you finally got to fight. And at his, the end of the day, board. it was fire that got them. Yeah, both. Yeah, they 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 were toppled from the castle and 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 that was that. Um and I kind of liked um well, no, I think that's in the next the next show that I was going to say, so I'm going to hold that off. Okay, okay. But, uh, you know, for the most part, you know, if I had to give this, I'd give this a solid C episode. Not one of my favorites, just because of the way it bundled every up, but the action was worth watching. Yeah, I would agree. Um. I wanted to say something too, but I'm going to wait until next week because of the next episode, because it, it would make more sense. And, and next week we're going to put it all together and not just uh, say how we feel about next week's episode, but the series as a, as a whole too. Um, Before we sign off, if you guys are watching on YouTube, make sure that you like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you're on one of our streaming platforms, hit me with them thumbs up as well and comment if you can. I'd love to hear from you guys. Show, do you got anything before we get out of here? Um, nope. I was about to sing for you, but we'll, <laughs> we'll save that for another day. Um, um, no, we just appreciate everybody watching. I mean, you feel free to sing now because, you know, it will go on our year end uh, <laughs> episode. One day I will I will bust a note for you and then you will be surprised. At I, my I got a good talk. So, you know, I can accompany you. There you go. I I, I, can, I, I have been known to sing a little bit. So okay. uh, I'm, I'm good for karaoke nights. Uh, you, you got them bars. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Someday. Someday. You guys heard it here first. Hey, leave a comment or hit that thumbs up if you want to hear Big Show sing on an episode. If I can, there you get, go. If I can get 20 or more thumbs ups for this episode, we might be able to talk him into it. 25. 25, 25. Okay, he said, okay, he said 25. Y'all hear me? And 25. 25 you and we'll make it happen. All right. Show, take us on out of here. Hey, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell so you know when uh, get your notifications. And again, we appreciate you. Um, hug your loved ones. Tomorrow's not promise. Go Chiefs. Yeah, everything he said except for that last part. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs>